Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. Oh, and my beautiful wife. Name, please. <laughs> Gina. Hey, Gina, where are we? I have no idea. You have no idea? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, I don't even know where we are. But that's called dedication because Blazer asked me to come down to Vegas and actually speak at their their conference right for all their distributors and all the flights got canceled last minute because it snowed heavily in vegas who knew and like it was like boom there's no way that you can get down there so we rented a car because we're gonna fly back and uh we're trekking down there for 10 hours making it happen that's right making it happen oh anyway this video i was reading all these responses crazy awesome responses all of those likes the tormac the whole video just blew up great first day but i just want to say there are a few people that are misunderstanding things so i want to speak to you guys all right i want to speak to you guys so uh that's what this video is about okay because i can it's about to get So I got a few minutes before it gets dark right here. So let's just like speak to it. All right before I get started though If you love what we're putting down, please hit that subscribe button. All right, we're bringing free education bringing CNC entertainment and uh, We're basically answering a lot of questions and just having community together, right? If you love this channel hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you like the video and put your comments below because we actually read them and that's why on this long drive to Vegas, I read them and now I'm responding to you, all right? Instead of just typing to one person, I wanted to just respond to you, all right? So here it is. We got big DMG Mori. We have all the UMC 750 machines and stuff. You know, we got $200,000 machines, $300,000 machines, $400,000 machines, and then we get this other one that's under 15K, right? Why would I get this, this small machine? You know why? Because this machine is opening the door for our kids, all right? Even though a lot of like machinists out there and people wanna dog things and they wanna say different things. If you actually look at the video that I just posted about the Tormac, I mean, look at all those likes. Look at all those people that actually have these machines that actually make a living on these machines. There's a huge positive response, all right? So I don't wanna just get all about the machine. I wanna to talk to you guys about where I'm coming from because it's from a good place. I truly believe in manufacturing. I believe in American manufacturing that we deserve the right to compete, right? I, I also believe that if you're in Australia or Brazil or Japan, you have the right to actually make your own parts so you can put food on your tables, right? It is a global economy. But right here in the United States of America, like other countries, we have problems with getting our kids excited. Our kids don't know about manufacturing. They simply don't know because they don't see it. Our schools don't have manufacturing, right? And although some schools are now putting machine shops in because we got the academy and free education that we're giving them, and you have other companies like Haas Automation and different people stepping up helping the schools and stuff, right? So you do have it happening in some schools but there's still a lot of kids that can never do it because the school simply can't afford the machines, all right? And right now we have an academy that is free and it teaches you how to design and program and CNC machine parts, all right? So my whole thing here is like, look, all of these kids will never have an opportunity. So if this machine that you can actually get for $7,000, if this machine will provide an opportunity because they can afford that, right? Then why not help out these kids, right? Why not do it, you know? And after a while, as they learn and they grow their program, they can upgrade to a Haas. They can upgrade to a DMG, right? They can get out of school and actually takes different steps and stuff. So that's, that's my whole thing right there. 
I'll also say, you know, there's a lot of complaints about the machine, right? Not a lot. Again, you look at all the likes and look at all the stories, it's amazing, but there are some complaints and stuff, and some are very valid. But at the same time, what I see is that there's a lot of beginners that go onto these machines and they watch videos and they don't have good guidance and they try to run the machines like other people run horses or machines with more horsepower and it falters and they fail, right? So when I look at it, I'm like, all of this, this whole community of makers, right? And they're all going after it, but they just don't have the right teacher. Like nobody's stepping up to truly teach them about tool pressure and about what types of tools to use and how to go in and hit that tolerance and stuff. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just saying that I'm not just for the big guys, right? I'm not just for the aerospace companies. I'm not just for the big production facilities. I'm for the kids also and for those that can't afford the big machines right? Not everybody can afford it. So there's a bunch of these young guys and even old old hobbyists and stuff and people making motorcycle parts and car parts that have these Tormax. And I decided to take it upon myself to actually go with my crew and make videos, just make parts and, and teach them how to make that cut, how to, how to face it, how to rough it. You know what I mean? Let's not get go too crazy right? Let's baby it, let's look at it, and let's teach you the art of manufacturing and show you that no matter what the machine, if you got talent and you know what you're doing, you can actually make good parts, all right? So that's all. Quick little vlog just to let you know, like this is about the kids, this is about people who would never have an opportunity. Give them an opportunity, allow them to learn, allow them to make parts, and then they can start making parts, making some money, then they can graduate up to a hoss, right? But if you don't give them a chance now and teach them now, they'll never buy that hoss and they'll never rise up. And then for years and years, we'll still be talking about the skills gap and the skills gap when there's a million people that could actually be learning right now on these machines that they could actually afford. So that's it. We're stepping up to teach our kids from the bottom, the smallest machines, to the mini mills, to the UMC 750s five axis, to the aerospace, to the biggest machines from plastic to aluminum, to titanium, to Inconel, all of it. It's getting dark. Like, look at that. Oh, sun already went down and stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys understand. I love this trade. It's not about the money. It's about this trade. It's about you guys. All right. Anyway, you guys have a great day. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next vlog. Say bye, Gina. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yay! Vegas, baby. Oh.